In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how you can connect your Fluent form to your Google Sheets. So, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is to come to Fluent form, and I'm using Pro. So, um, for you to get the Pro version, you can just check the description of this video. So, once I get here, I want to click on Integration. At this point, I want to come here and search for Sheets. So you have Google Sheets here, so you want to enable this. So it's disable, you can see right here. So just click on enable, then click on setting. Then other setting is going to ask you for access code. So you want to click get access sheet uh, code. So for you to get the code, so you have to sign into your Google account. So I'm just going to click on any of these accounts. Click on continue. Then it's going to generate the code. In my own case, this is the code. So I'm just going to copy the code, come back here, and paste the code right here. So I click on verify. Now you can see that it says your Google integration is set up and running. So that is how you can connect it. So once you connect it, just come back to the form. Then click on the form you want to connect. So in my own case, I'm just going to connect um this i'm going to come to setting under settings, i'm just going to show down to like find configure integration then under here you can see say add new integration so i'm just going to add new it's going to be google sheets so right here i'm just going to say so once i type the name i need the spreadsheet id and also need the worksheet name so those are the two things i need so I, for, for me to get that I'm just going to come to Google and create a new sheet. So for me to get that, I'm just going to come here and create a blank sheet. Then I'm going to name it. Uh, let me just copy the name I get here. All right, so that is the name. Then uh, so right here, I need the spreadsheet um, ID and the work sheet no, uh, name. So the Spreadsheet ID is going to be this ID that is going to appear after this slash. So I'm just going to copy this till you get to before edit slash edit. So copy it, then paste it here. Then the worksheet name is going to be this name. So I'm just going to rename this to new. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, paste it here now i have to put this fill the form the first name then i'm going to click this plus then the last name then click this plus then the um, email then i'm going to click this plus then the phone number plus the price so i'm just going to fill it as it appear here So once I feed this to match what I have here, I'm just going to click on save feeds. Then you can see that it says integration successful save. So if I go back to my sheet right now, you can see that it has already been saved here. So if I go ahead and fill the form, it's going to automatically fill here. So let me just do a practical. Let just let me just go ahead and fill the form. So this is the form right here. Let me click on preview design. So I'm just going to fill it from here. Okay, so I've submitted the form. All right, so you can see that it has automatically filled. So that's how you can connect your Fluent form to your Google Sheets. As I said earlier, if you need the pro version of the Fluent form, you can check the description of this video. It's not free, but it's affordable. So that is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And I hope you find this video helpful. I hope you find this video valuable. If you find this video helpful, kindly give this video a thumbs up so that more people like you can get to see this video. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell notification so that anytime I drop a new video just like this, you will be among the first people to be notified.